We are walking in tutus for Tanner, following very slowly um, a couple of groups of women and uh, at least a few men who are running in tutus for Tanner. What's it mean to you to see this outpouring of support? It's amazing. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, it's not a surprise to me that the community that I have, that we have on the internet is remarkable and amazing, but you know, when you see it brought out into real life with people putting on really silly skirts, you know, silly hats, you know, and being like out in real life public with their support and their love, it's, you know, it's awesome. It's really awesome. And how has this journey changed your relationship with your community? Okay, I'm going to cry. Oh. How has it changed it? I, it's intensified it. It's intensified it. It's um, I've I've loved this community for over four years now, and I'm crying. And they've been a support for me in hard times, personally for me, and through my telling Tanner's story, and for Tanner and his mom. And it's just really, it's just, it's really blown up in a super big way in this weekend when things got really, really hard and when things have gotten really, really awesome and it's just, I don't know, I just fell more in love with my community this week. I really, I really, really did and I'm, you know, I don't, yeah, I, I don't even have words. So I had just cry. And what has Tanner said about this? Oh. Tanner, Tanner's a little bit overwhelmed. I mean, it's awesome. He thinks it's, he thinks it's very funny that there are ladies and tutus and a few men. Um, he's, uh, he's a boy, so he's like, I don't have to wear a tutu, do I? Um, you know, it's, he's excited to be in New York. He's excited that there's something special going on around him. Um, his mom is moved beyond words. You know, this is, uh, they've had a lot of struggles. They live in a small community, you know, getting support. You know, just day-to-day -day support has been really hard, and to you know that there's this virtual community. I mean, even virtual sounds horrible because it's like this community is so real, as we're proving this morning, um, is just so heart-bustingly amazing for her and for me, obviously. Can you explain what happened with the wheelchair and then share the resolution? Uh, well, Air Canada killed Tanner's chair. It's a ah. Compose myself. Um, it's a $15,000 custom chair. It's uh, the nature of um, how his disease is progressing means that there's a lot of pressure on his spine, which is collapsing under the weight of his disintegrating muscles. And so he needs special support in the chair, special support for his spine to minimize pain and to minimize damage to the spine and to enable him to move. I mean, he can't even sit up on his own without um, a special kind of support. So it was devastating when we got off the plane and the wheelchair was broken. Like, I, there aren't even words for how devastating and upsetting it was. Um, you know, it's been a bit of a journey since yesterday. Um, Air Canada, after after I complained on Twitter that Air Canada hadn't provided us with an appropriate loaner chair for Tanner to be able to be mobile, the internet exploded, Twitter exploded, major media outlets got interested, and then Air Canada sprung into action. So uh, yes, by uh, yesterday afternoon, they had repaired Tanner's chair to functioning capability. It still needs to be properly looked at by specialists. Um, but they fixed his chair. They're donating to the fund to um, renovate his basement so he can have a live-in caregiver and stay at home. Um, and they're sending Tanner on his number one wish, on um, his wish list on my blog, which is to take his cousins um, on a Disney holiday. And lastly, can you explain his disease? Tanner has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is, it's one of the muscular dystrophies. <laughs> Pirouette! <laughs> um, so Duchenne's muscular dystrophy is a, is a genetic muscular, like a neuromuscular disorder that means that the muscles slowly disintegrate. It, it's um, usually genetic. Um, it 99.9% .9 of the time affects boys. Um, it's, there's no cure. It's terminal. Some, some boys live through their teens. Um, many don't. Um, Tanner won't. His, his, uh, his condition is particularly um, aggressive. Um, it's, it's really, really aggressive. And uh, he's 
he was still walking a little bit a year ago, you know, occasionally, and now he's almost functionally paraplegic, so it's progressing just way too fast.